Good morning, folks. I thought we'd do a quick little video about pop-style rivet guns that are used in the Zenith aircraft to, to assemble them. Uh, Zenith uses two sizes of rivets, predominantly A4s and A5s for the AVEX rivets. Um, for hand rivet guns, I tend to use the Bolo Marson style guns like this. Um, I've had this one for several years and I'll add at least one more this year because last year I was riveting something where I couldn't get into it and I've modified it quite a bit so I'll add another one and, and use this one where, where we have to. Um, as with most things I prefer air, air riveters or air tools to, to help build the process. I think it goes along uh, real well. I started out with the Harbor Freight style guns. Um, back when I started this project why the the general consensus from a lot of guys was it was a, a pretty decent rivet gun to do what you wanted it to do um, and they were cheap you know they were on sale with a coupon they were thirty five dollars forty dollars something like that um, I personally think they're junk I went through two of them the first one lasted me about a year and over the winter I tend to not be building because it gets too cold in my it's been too cold in the shop so um, I kind of shut down. I went back after the first year of having it and the seals had apparently dried out. It was oiled and everything. I, it wasn't like it hadn't been maintained, but it had dried out. I ended up and tore it apart and dinked around with it with an hour or so and put it back together and got it to work. And it worked for a while and, and then pretty soon it had dried out again and I was in the same boat. So I kind of canned that one, thought I hadn't had a bad one. So I went and I bought another one and the exact same thing happened. So I, I don't really recommend them. I think they're, they're junk. This is a project that goes on for, you know, at least two or three years, if not longer. And you don't want to invest any more than you really have to in tooling, but you want something that's going to last throughout the project. Um, I went to the Nico style guns after that, or their, excuse me, Nico brand guns. Um, this is the same style. I don't know if it's the exact same gun or not, but this is the same gun that, or style of gun that Zenith shows on their website in their toolkit. Um, I have two of these. One I set up for A4 and one for A5. I've had the one, the first one for several years, three or four years now. Uh, a couple of years, well, a year or so after that, I bought a second one. And I've had real good luck with both of them. I just fired them up here a little bit ago and they, you know, added a little oil to them and they're fine. They work really good. Um, they're Nico brand. Um, they're about $50 off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it and the, and the manual gun, so the handgun. Um, I'll put a link in Amazon if you if you're interested in them. They're about fifty dollars, like I say, fifty or a little bit more. Last time I looked, uh, Zena sells their gun. I think they're ninety nine, and the rivet heads are already formed. Um, it's a great value if you're just going to run one gun type of thing and and maybe a manual gun. Um, so you know if you're just wanting one and you're wanting your heads already preformed to make your your domed rivets, Zenith is probably a better value for you. Um, where I run you know, three guns, four, four guns. I form my own heads. Um, it's not a hard thing to do. You know, even if you set up to do it and go buy a new carbide burr while well, you've only spent another $20. So, and then you can do all the heads you need to, you can form all the heads you need for the project. Um, so that's what I do. If somebody's interested in, in how you're forming those hands, I can do a quick little video. If you want, put a, put a request down in the, or a comment down in the description down below and I'll, uh, we can see about doing a video for that. Anyway, that's my recommendation for, for rivet guns. These I've been real happy with these Nico guns, and I think they'll last me throughout this project and probably at least one more. So there you go. Hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.